What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again and welcome back to another video on my CIB for FR. Now in today's video what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some front end modifications on the car. Being a wide mouth grille and a D-badge centre top grille as well. So we're going to do both of those. Now this is going to look optimum when the car's lowered. We do have the ball overs upstairs. I'm not sure what order any of these videos are going up in, so excuse. Excuse me on that front, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this now. So let me flip the camera around. I did mention previously, but what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be cutting out this whole black section. And that's going to be one big wide mouth grill. Um, and I might even actually follow it and paint it like from here and the same on the other side all black as well. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll see what it looks like once we've done that. I'm going to attempt to do both of these without actually removing the bumper from the car. Just because I can't be asked for the hassle, it's an absolute scorching day today. That's why I'm doing this rather than the coil overs, because I can't be asked to wrestle with bolts in like 33 degree South London heat, because that is a dirty, dirty temperature. Without no further ado, I'm going to literally go ahead and let's actually do this live on camera for the viewers. We're just going to grab this, and I reckon if we just, yeah, look, look at that. Well, it's coming, as you can see, like, from here. So I'll just go around and unclip that, or saw it, or whatever. We don't need it anymore, because we're replacing it with this sort of honeycomb grill, which we have over here. So that's going to be, it's actually in, in replacement. So all of that can literally be removed. So let's go ahead and set up a time lapse of removing this grill from the IB for FR. Right guys, by way of an update, I'm absolutely scorching that. We have got the whole of the front bumper section removed and cut out. We have got our grill cut to size out of some like, honeycomb style mesh. That's the perfect size. So now what we're going to have to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and clean up this mouth. Just give it a proper clean down. Some glass slash like, surface cleaner. Sand down any rough surfaces that can go ahead and glue this in place. Now to glue this in place, we're going to be using your traditional primary school utensils. We're going to be using a hot glue gun. Now this works the absolute balls, perfectly strong for what we're doing. And if it doesn't look too neat, which we're going to try to do it so we don't need to paint it. But if we don't, we can just give it a lick of paint and it will look good as new. We've just gone ahead and drilled both little connecting tabs out so we can just put our original grill off try that to one side and now we're going to go ahead with our brand new one and just wedge that in place i'm going to go ahead and set this up as you can see this absolutely sort of dripping down my face it's absolutely pulled in today in the uk but we soldier on we're going to go ahead nice and swap this over now uh, let me just whack this on the tripod right here Lovely. Right, as you can see, we've debadged the front with a new grill. Quite a liking look at that. Actually, it's going to look really nice with our honeycomb grill on the front. So, yeah, that's on there. Now, there was originally like two little screw things which go through there to hold it in. So, I'm going to put some like rivets in there just hold in place it should do the job you could always use like a zip tie or something like that as well but rivets will do the job a lot better so we finally finished installing the wide mouth grill onto ib for fr so i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and show you guys what it looks like please bear in mind we're gonna paint this so you won't see all of the spots where there's hot glue that will all be painted over and it still needs to be neatened up slightly with a craft knife but let's go ahead and reveal the wide mouth Our last chance to leave it all behind. 
And there we have it guys, I'm going to leave the video there. I'm not going to paint it in today's video because I'm absolutely scorching. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out, so I'm going to leave it for today. Don't want to overdo it, but yeah, really pleased with how it's turned out. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. If you like this install, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys, take care, peace, and I'll catch you all in the next one.